Okay, let's get stuck straight in. This is in my Cableton.com tutorial. 35 shortcuts, commands and tips for Ableton Live's Notes Editor. Some of these tips will be pretty obvious and some are quite um, rare ones that aren't very well known, but very useful. Tip number one, Command Shift T. Creates a MIDI track. Double click in the clip slot to create a MIDI clip. Command Alt L toggles the clip view. F12 toggles the clip view and the track view selector. F1 toggles the draw tool. Well, that's a standard one, that's one that's um, showing easy ways to control live on the website, a custom shortcut. So it's a single clip to draw and a single clip to undraw. draw on the move notes like that. We can draw a note in and then immediately alter the velocity like that. This is on a track pad it's um, double click to draw and then you just drag keep your finger down. It'd be slightly different on the mouse but you get the get the idea. If we've got several notes in and we um, don't have any selected then with the draw tool you can adjust all the um, velocities like that with the draw tool off it's just a double click to create and delete Now we can move these notes with the arrow key. If we hold shift and use the up and down arrow keys to jump an octave. If we hold shift and use the other arrow keys, the horizontal ones, it extends the notes. Command 1 shrinks the grid, makes it smaller. Command 2 makes it bigger. Command 3 makes it into triplets mode. And Command 4 takes the grid off. With the grid off, horizontal our keys will move the notes a little bit. And with shift, we can extend them and make them smaller. Now you can drag the ends of the notes with or without the grid on. drag them around if we drag horizontally we do in, in and out if we drag vertically we um, effectively scroll the screen and then if we go down into the uh, clip overview down here um, a vertical drag zooms in and the horizontal drag scrolls across and with the trackpad you, know, you can use the dra drag lock so you can take your finger off like this very handy mm. double click to zoom back out FN in the up and down arrow keys that's the key on your left hand side of your keyboard in the bottom corner up 
it scrolls and jumps of an octave. If you have a look on the left there. And um, we need to zoom in for this. The uh, arrow keys will scroll, scroll along. With the grid off, they'll do it in uh, tiny amounts. I forgot to say that if you've got a note selected, then it's going to start moving the notes around. <laughs> so uh, don't do it with the notes selected. Normal scrolling on a trackpad is just two fingers up and down. If you've not got a trackpad or a magic mouse, if you've got something else and you're finding problems with scrolling, Command Alt produces a hand, which then allows you to uh, scroll upwards, downwards, and horizontally. Now this is another custom shortcut, F8, the engine, minus zooms out, and plus zooms in, but plus is a two finger shortcut, I is, I is F8, and uh, that's explained on the website, under the section, easy ways to control live, it just means that you've got very fast. Okay, now this is one that catches a lot of people out. Sometimes wonder why the note velocities has changed. If you um, if you've got a note, if you hold Command down and adjust it, you adjust the velocity, but you also adjust the velocity of every future note. So we do the same thing. Okay, now let's say we've got these notes that are all over the place <coughs> and we want to get them all the same velocity. If we select all these notes now, drag up one of those things and then back down, they're all moving the same now. So we've got all those notes back to 100. Now, this is a pretty cool one. From the website. If we draw a scale on the left there, I won't bother with the old thing, but that's part of A minor. Command A to select all of them. Left arrow moves them in front of the first. Um, the start of the first bar, fold, gets rid of all the other notes. So now any note that you play in here is going to be in A minor. So any, any note is going to be right. Um, you can't go wrong. Now this is another obscure one. If you zoom right in, and click on the start marker and jump to the start. This is over here, this uh, where it says start here. If you click on end, it goes to the end. And if you click on length, then you see the whole thing. You'd never think of that. Okay, now this is another obscure one, but a really brilliant one. We make sure that the um, computer MIDI keyboard is off. Go into key mapping. If we click down here and then click a key on the keyboard, what happens now is that wherever we are in the set, whatever we're looking at, if I click that key, which was an S, we're going to see whichever MIDI clip is active for this for that particular track. So, if I rename that with 
the mess at the beginning so I don't forget. You know, then in future, whenever I want to see what's playing on that track S, just hit S. Okay, that's your lot. Thanks for listening.